You know, I always drag Bryce Hall in my videos for being hella childish and irresponsible, but um, I never in my life expected him to press charges against high school kids for stealing his $5 hat. Like, what the f***? All jokes aside, y'all, this drama is actually more serious than what I made it sound like. Because a lot has happened in the past week between Bryce Hall and college students. And, uh, for some reason, Bryce Hall is now suing those boys. I mean, I would do it too for a check if Addison stopped paying my rent. This drama actually started pretty quick when Bryce Hall, Taylor Holder, Mikey Tua, and other Hype House members decided to attend a frat party at San Diego State University after they got invited. And y'all, not even a minute after Bryce and his crew arrived at the party, Bryce went on his social media to expose a bunch of college students for not only stealing a hat he was wearing, but for also assaulting and vandalizing their Uber driver. Check this out. So these frat boys vandalized and assaulted our Uber driver because they invited us to their party like little fangirls and we showed up and then they tried to troll us by taking our hats <laughs> and then cornering us against our Uber and vandalizing mind, the mind, vehicle. There's, there's, there's us, and there was literally 47 of them like trying to like, act like they're hard. What? After Bryce left tons of people confused on what really happened there, he then went on Twitter to clarify that the college students tricked him into thinking he was invited to the frat party when they just wanted to attack him only. And guys, he even made sure that he will be pressing charges against those college students. I make people go viral when they talk about me or do something stupid to me. Now I understand why I have so many haters. I guess I'm pressing charges on an SDSU frat. Ha 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 ha. Run me with that money. All my haters say they want to punch me in the face when they see me in person, yet I haven't encountered someone that does it. Here's my tweet giving you permission. SDSU SAE frat boys are the biggest LMFAO. Now here's when things went downhill, y'all. Since not only did the college students post videos of them actually stealing Bryce's hats and vandalizing his Uber car, but they also posted videos of the YouTuber FousyTube throwing punches at college students for throwing beers at him and Bryce Hall. Let's go! Yo, go get paid, man! Go! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. audacity to post the videos on TikTok to make it go viral. But Bryce Hall continued to respond to the college students under his video by making a comment saying this. I'm crying myself to sleep right now over the $40 hat. I hope I can afford another one after the $6 I'm getting for my fight next month. While all this happened in under 12 hours, Bryce somehow made it to local news in San Diego after being attacked by students. And guys, even the reporters revealed that the situation is currently under investigation. Check this out. Parker, with nearly 20 million followers, just moved here to San Diego. His name is Bryce Hall, and his welcome ended pretty fast after he says fraternity brothers at San Diego State harassed him and vandalized his ride share. After this situation took a huge turn on social media, Bryce Hall got hella lucky to get one college student kicked out of his university after the student posted a letter from his college that said this. Bro, can y'all believe it? It's really a this. He reported me to uni and they sent me a suspension letter. I mean, I will appeal for it definitely, but like, he's too faced for that, especially since he gangs up on others. Even though Bryce got this student suspended, he wasn't able to get the person who stole his hat suspended as well, since according to the student that stole Bryce's hat, Bryce allegedly got a severe case of lice. Oh my god! Anyways, as we're speaking about Bryce, let's move on to my girl Addie, aka Miss Addison Ray, who recently revealed some shocking news about her ex, Bryce. If you guys have seen my recent videos, then you probably know how the one and only Addison Ray got in some huge drama after Bryce revealed some shocking news about her. Since, as y'all remember, Bryce decided to accuse Addison and her team of spreading false information about him to multiple news outlets just to promote her song, Obsessed. And while this situation all 
happened a couple of months ago, we didn't really hear any response from Addison Rae and whether she's out here lying about Bryce Hall cheating on her. But just recently, y'all, Addison decided to go on a podcast and finally debunk rumors about Bryce cheating on her, since she proceeded to say that people will always believe the worst situations about you, whether it's lying or cheating, and that is all not true. And of course, she also seemed to love stirring them rumors about Bryce for attention. She could have said that through a quick tweet. Uh, she's a little late. It's clear she had ulterior motives or she wouldn't have waited this long to say something. She surely loves stirring them rumors though. Wait until it spiraled to this degree to make a statement on it, of course. Anyways, if y'all thought the drama took a break, from there, well, I can promise you that it got worse since both Dixie D'Amelio and Mads Lewis decided to throw shade at Nessa Barrett this week for no reason. I don't understand the point of Dixie D'Amelio getting herself involved in this entire drama between Mads, Nessa, Jaden, and Josh. Because this time, y'all, the whole drama was actually caused by Dixie herself, since not only did she throw a small party for her new song, Boy, but she also invited a bunch of her close friends, including Mads Lewis, for sure. At first, everything was going pretty good as Dixie and her friends were answering a bunch of questions from their fans. But of course, Dixie decided to throw a little bit of shade towards Nessa Barrett and Jaden Hustler. And guys, just take a look at how Mads Lewis and her friends reacted to it. Or talks to other girls, or your best friend. I have another one besides, besides Mads for the other ones that we get some experiences. <laughs> yeah, basically, Dixie was explaining how her new song talks about the time she caught her ex boyfriend talking to her friend. And, ah, uh, for some reason, a guy behind the camera decided to compare her situation with Mads Lewis's current situation, and that's what made the drama get worse. Since, well, people started attacking both Dixie and Mads for still not being over the entire drama, despite how Nessa and Jaden are minding their own business now. As if Dixie didn't go from Griffin to Noah, LMFAO, okay, lol, but didn't Dixie go from one to the other? The situation is over, literally get over it, LMAO, why y'all still on it? Saying you unbothered but keep speaking on it every other day. We get it, just move TF on, it's been a month. Anyways, y'all, as we're still mentioning relationships and fuckboys, I'd like to talk about Mal Trevejo now, who literally broke up with her new boyfriend within 24 hours. How does that even happen? At this point, we all know how the one and only Mal Trevejo suffered from her past relationships as she fell in love with many TikTokers, including a popular basketball player that got her in so much trouble. But after months of Malu simping over the TikToker Vinny Hacker, she finally found herself a new boyfriend this week after she decided to announce her relationship with the rapper Central C by posting these cute pictures. Guys, I won't sit here and lie to y'all that this relationship lasted a week only. Since not even 24 hours after she announced her relationship, she suddenly unfollowed her boyfriend on Instagram the next day and ended her relationship with Central C by posting these shady stories towards can't no rapper, singer, actor say they hit. Hashtag free clout, you're welcome. I told you I'll get you to a million. Can't play someone that already knows how boys move. I mean, her boyfriend literally made a song called Commitment Issues, so what do you expect? Anyways, loves, make sure to let me know all your thoughts on today's recap and topics down in the comments below. I love you so much.